On to other news now. Too many inmates at Winston Green Prison in Birmingham are testing positive for drugs, according to a report by the Chief Inspector of Prisons. Inmates also joked about how easy it is to get hold of illegal substances. But the inspection highlights the positive too, describing Winston Green as safe for most inmates. It's the first time HMP Birmingham has been inspected since the private company G4S took over. Joanne Rittle reports. The high walls around Birmingham prison, but when an inspector called, prisoners joked about how easy it was to throw drugs over them into an exercise yard. Rewind 15 years, and a BBC documentary showed how prisoners here swung drugs or messages to neighbouring cells. The debris here, including toilet rolls, were used to weight down objects, but these were the failed attempts, stuck on a razor wire fence. Then, in 2006, CCTV at Featherstone Prison near Wolverhampton showed people throwing drugs over the perimeter. Fast forward then to the present day in Birmingham. From November to January, 54 packages were hurled over the walls here. The report author, Chief Inspector of Prisons Nick Hardwick, expressed surprise that netting hadn't been put up to stop the problem, something which, six months on, is now being addressed. Today, the director said measures were in place to tackle the drugs issue. We've done a lot of work with that, including some proactive work with West Midlands Police. Um, a number of people have been arrested and we now have one individual who's serving a prison sentence as a result of being caught um, attempting to throw things over the wall. Meanwhile, management said they also welcomed praise, the report describing the jail as clean and reasonably safe. Prisoners and staff relationships are generally good and improved, but there were also problems with overcrowding and methods to tackle bullying a week. Last year, we filmed protests over privatisation plans. This is the first inspection since G4S took over. It doesn't really matter who runs prisons because there are simply too many people in prison too often for too long. And it's only when we start to really accept that and address those issues that are related to that, that we're going to be able to address problems such as the drug problem. So privatised or publicly run, drugs at HMP Birmingham remain a problem. Joanne Rittle, BBC Midlands Today. Well, joining us now from our London studio is the author of that report, Nick Hardwick, the Chief Inspector of Prisons. Thanks for joining us this evening, Mr Hardwick. If I can talk about the drugs issue first, I mean, I know that's nothing new in prisons, but it's astonishing that no fewer than, what, 54 packages were discovered being thrown over the wall in just three months. Those are the ones that were discovered. I mean, that really is some problem, isn't it? This, is, this was a weak point in what was generally a positive inspection. I think the thing about the drugs being thrown over the, uh, over the wall, I mean, the staff there were frustrated. They, you know, what people were telling me personally was that putting netting up to prevent it would be a relatively simple thing to do. There's always a bit of a, there's no, it's, it's a very difficult thing to stop drugs getting into a, into a prison. But if it appears to the prisoners that you don't care too much, then I think that sends out all the wrong signals. Yeah, and you talked about this netting six months ago and it still hasn't happened. I mean, that must surprise you a bit. Uh, uh, well, they need to get on with it. Uh, they do need to get on with it now. It's important they look carefully at our recommendations and they need to prioritise some of them. But this is a relatively simple thing to do. It won't solve the problem altogether. There's other ways drugs can get into the prison, but they should get on with that. Of course, this was your first inspection since the controversial privatisation with G4S. What was morale like? Uh, morale actually was better than I expected. I think people felt resigned and they now just wanted to get on with doing the job. Uh, uh, and to be clear, you know, obviously the prison's been through a very difficult and stressful time with the change from the public to the private sector. It's a very big, almost the biggest, one of the biggest prisons in Europe with a very difficult population. And actually, a lot of what we found was uh, very positive. So staff, I think, generally had done a very good job in difficult circumstances. Just briefly, you're also concerned about overcrowding. I mean, in the absence of new prison, what's the answer to that? Well, well, I think we have to make a, as a society, we have to make a choice about whether we either you know, send less people to prison or we provide for the people that we are sending. The issue isn't the space in the cells. The issue is whether you can do anything sensible with people when they're there. So, for instance, actually, I thought the biggest problem at Birmingham is they simply weren't doing enough to address people's behaviour so that when they left, they were less likely to offend than when they went in. I think that's probably what's the most concern to the public. And that's, that's an impact of overcrowding, not 
so much people being squashed in the cells. Nick Hardwick, thank you. Thank you. Well, meanwhile, two members of staff at a Worcestershire prison have been...